Starting off with this exercise, it's the alternating single leg box squat. Now look, if you're at a more advanced level, you're going to perform this from a lower box. If you have to do this at a more intermediate or beginner level, you can simply raise the box. Now again, this box can be anything. It could be a bed, it could be a couch, any surface that you can get yourself down to. the one and a half bottomed out squats. And we talked about in other videos the benefit of working in that bottom range of the squat, in that parallel to below parallel range, to strengthen that portion which is oftentimes the weakest area of the squat. We can do that here again regardless of what level we're at. We take this for the entire From here we then go in and we finish out this circuit, which your legs will probably be pretty fried at this point, with a simple jump squat. And again, this can be pretty taxing at this point. With other body weight workouts, if you had just stopped at the first exercise, or even if you attempted to take that by itself to failure, you could be doing it for a really long period of time. But when you stack them together like this, the cumulative fatigue becomes something that is able to be progressive and overloaded, and that's where the real benefit comes from. bat here we start with a handstand push-up, a shoulder dominated, very difficult exercise. That being said, if you can't do this, you then simply just do something like this, the power push away. It's still working the shoulders, it doesn't require as much of your own body weight that you have to lift off the ground, but it's still going to get the job done. The next exercise, which is a rotational push-up, a little bit more of a chest bias. And with the rotation, I've mentioned this before, you get that little added relative adduction at the chest to really try to hit the chest as best as we possibly can. And again, if you can't do this, you can simply drop down to your knees and perform the same movement and get the same benefits at a slightly easier level.
up here where they tricep exercise this one called the Cobra push-up. And what we're going to do between workouts A and B is just hit the different positions of the long head of the triceps. This one would actually train the long head of the triceps in its more contracted position because you have that elbow straightened out with your arm closer to your body into or close to extension behind your body. In this case now, we have something here called the alternating heel touch squat. This one here is a posterior chain focused exercise. Just by leaning forward, you shift a lot of the focus on to the glutes to perform the exercise and you're simply trying to go down, touch both hands to the outsides of your heels and come back up. At a more beginner level, if you need a little bit of extra assistance or even just a little bit of a balance assistance, you could do the kickstand variation where you just have one foot out there bearing maybe about 10 to 15 percent of your body weight. From here we move on to the alternating sprinter lunge. Again, by simply leaning forward, we turn a regular lunge that's quad dominant into something that's more posterior chain glute dominant. You alternate back and forth, both levels of course will be able to do this. one final exercise, the plyo sprinter lunge. So we take the same position here and now we really want to burn it out and we see if we can be more explosive. Stay low to the ground here where your glutes are maximally engaged. Again, at the beginner level, if you have to, you can simply make that switch at a much higher elevation. So come up out of the lunge a little bit and then make the switch. In this case, we start off with the pull-up, the classic pull exercise. And again, all you're required to have here is a single pull-up bar in your house to be able to get this done. If pull-ups are too challenging for you, though, you could do this exercise instead. This is called a seated pull-up. And all you got to do is just position your legs as you see me here and lean back. And I've just got literally a single dowel or broomstick across.
From here we move on to the next exercise, the human pullover. Again, this is a tough exercise. This is for the more advanced people doing this. This is this sliding pull down. And you can see I'm on a sliding surface, a hardwood floor, a tile floor, and I'm just trying to pull my body back up to the top, allow it to drift out, get that stretch in the lats, and pull back in. here the inverted chin curl. Again, back to that same setup that I mentioned before, and the idea here is not just to pull with your back, but actually trying to pull as if you're curling your body up to the bar to really engage the biceps. And the exercises that we choose here start at a lower ab exercise, this one, the reverse corkscrew. And you can see here that we're not just getting that engagement of the lower abs, but we're also getting a little bit of bottom up rotation to get the obliques as well. next exercise, and that is the Black Widow Knee Slide. So here we call this a mid-range exercise. I drive my knee in towards my elbow, I slide it up to get a little bit more flexion through the spine. The focal point of the flexion is happening kind of mid-back to engage both upper and lower abs. And then we wrap it up with our levitation crunch. Here the goal is just to elevate your scapula and your shoulder blades off the ground. Not to curl them up towards your knees, but literally to just lift them up off the ground as if you're trying to levitate them.
here, the angel and devil. And that is something that seems so sweet and easy, but it's so damn hard. And it gets the entire posterior chain. I have to have my quads elevated off the ground, so I engage the glutes, I engage the low back, and then this rotation of the arms is actually taking our shoulders through full rotation, working not only the rotator cuff, but also engaging the upper scap muscles and mid-back muscles as well, areas that tend to get neglected. worked your way through, that's one time. Ideally, I want to see you go through it two or three times. If you go through it two times, the workout will take you about 35 minutes or so.